Hey everybody, how the heck are ya? I'm Fastidious and welcome back to my channel. It's day, it's day 39 in the free to play series. Sorry, I had to give it a look. Campaign farming has got me delirious. Things are going pretty good. We are dominating the tournament game. Two different tournaments we're holding on first place. I'm thinking that's gonna stay. The classic, classic arena takedown and also the champ training. And speaking of champ training, we are bringing Skullcrown to five stars today. So all this being said, let's just hop on in. Fastidious. Fastidious. Day 39. Here we go, guys. Um, first off, some housekeeping. If you're watching this video right when it drops, right when I publish it on YouTube, you might notice it's a lot earlier than normal. Um, I've looked at the YouTube analytics and it seems most of you guys are actually on like late morning, early afternoon, midday kind of stuff, at least my time, Eastern Standard. So from now on, I'm gonna be releasing the free to play series daily videos at about 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it seems like that's, that's what works best for you guys. So I'm happy to accommodate. Next up, my Brogni guide, my old school fusion prep guide is officially out. I'm hoping a lot of you have already seen it, but if you haven't, I'm sure I'm carting it up, carting up to it right there. Um, this video is the most effort I've put into a single video yet. It's a bit short. I tried to keep it under 10 minutes. I was successful, I'm happy to say. Um, but the, the slides, the storyboarding, it all took a lot of effort. So if you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. And finally, Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch tonight. I stream every Sunday. Uh, on Twitch at, two, at 9 p.m., but this is a particularly fun one. We're doing 2x Void Shard pulls again. We did that on Friday. We're doing even more thanks to the viewers that have the extra shards. We're pulling that tonight, so if you're interested in catching me on Twitch, please go check it out. And also, if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, but you like Twitch, you like me, maybe go throw a follow. I'm nearly at affiliate. We're just a couple, sub uh, not subscribers, followers away from getting that done. But anyway, let's do tournaments. So, probably is going to be the title of this video, like, dominating the tournament game, but I'm kind of blown away. Um, I haven't been focusing that much. I mean, classic, uh, not classic, champion training, definitely putting in the effort, but you'll see here, we are just smoking them. What is this? 6,002 points for us, 36.53 for second place. I mean, I don't know what could go wrong here. As you're going to see a bit in the video, we're ranking up another five-star champion. I mean, I'm just grinding away at this, but basically I just want the epic book void chart, and I'd like to finish high, but this first place is just falling into our laps. It's great to see. I mean, we're definitely going to push for it now. I want that legendary book for Yoshi. We want that six-star legendary relentless gear. But also, this one actually just fell into our laps. Let's look at the classic arena takedown tournament. This is crazy to me. This is crazy. You know, we're, we're trying hard in the arena, but it's not like I'm winning all the time. I'm probably only winning at a 60 to 65% clip. We have 158 points. Second place is, is at a fraction of that, way less than 50% at just 67 points. So this is done. We won this. I mean, unless second place moves up to gold and just starts pumping out the points left and right. Um, I don't know how we don't win this tournament. I've really just noticed this today. I mean, yesterday in the video, I said we were in second place. All of a sudden, we're just blowing them out of the water. It's crazy, but I mean, five-star epic relentless gear, you know we'll take that. Um, also, let's talk campaign farming. That, I mean, I've been doing the champ training tournament, so campaign farming, it's a big part of that. What have we been doing? I'll hop on in here and show you. Look at this. It's gonna look a little different now, but for the longest time, this is what I was running. Excuse me, let's switch them. So we had Sachi not yet at level 60. We've got her at level 60 now. But then Yoshi, he was like level 25, uh, six stars. He was our new six star from yesterday. Um, so I wanted ranking them both up. So instead of running Kale, maybe it's obvious to some of you, but this is a really efficient thing to do. Your campaign farmer, if I had Kale in here, or Sachi now, but if I had it like this, she, uh, he's getting no benefit from the XP boost, so it's kind of like a wasted slot. This way, at least until Sachi was max, um, it was really efficient. Everyone was getting a little boost from the campaign. And I will say, if, it's not like Yoshi or Sachi could do it by themselves, at least not with the gear I have on them. Sachi in uh, Lifesteal definitely could pull it off. But yeah, uh, with the two of them, it was a great little duo, and it worked out great. We made a lot of food, all that stuff. You'll see in just one second. But uh, a good example of this, which I'm sure I'll show you, is once Skullcrown is up and running as a six-star... Um, and she's hitting hard, she'll be able to just uh, level herself up. She'll be her own campaign farmer. It will be pretty cool stuff. Guys, the two giveaways are still going on, so to participate today, you're gonna have to answer the daily question and use the hashtag giveaway. So today's question, what's the number one problem you see in the game and how do you think it should be fixed? All right guys, so answer that in the comments and use the hashtag giveaway. So guys, all this talk about Skull Crown, how about we bring her to rank five? She's right here, I've got the food ready. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna have to use my four favorite champions in the game to rank her up, but she's an amazing champion, she's worth it. So we got my favorite champion right here, Necht. Then my second favorite, Necht. 
my third Necht, and finally we gotta use four Nets. You know, my four favorite champions of the game, but she's worth it. Amazing champion, she's our game changer. We're bringing her, there's 100 more tournament points. Let's throw some uh, Void Brews, what do you say? RIP Necht to the fourth power. Um, there we go, let's just, I think six Brews is enough. The rest she can level, level herself up maybe once we throw some gear on her. Guys, actually, important thing to say, an artifact enhancement event could not, cannot, cannot, cannot come soon enough. I know we had one towards the end, the second one from the Yoshi Fusion, we had that one fairly recently. Maybe it ended, what, on Sunday? So honestly, like six days ago, maybe on a Monday, I don't know. But uh, I really want to put gear on Skull Crown. We're probably gonna put her in an Avenging set. I'll just show, I'll break this down for you guys, I'll show you. Um, one of the pieces is already leveled fully to plus 16. There's Avenging, and that's actually on Sachi right now. Uh, let me actually move my, well, actually pretty small face today. I'm, ru I'm running the small uh, face cam. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. Maybe nice, you don't have to look at me as much. Um, okay, so this amazing chest, especially for Skullcrown, why is that? Well, attack-based champion, she smacks. We're gonna want the attack percentage chests on her. Wish this was six stars, but we're not at that point where we can be nitpicky. We'll take what we can get. And then look at this, triple roll on an epic piece on crit rate. So we get 18% crit rate out of this piece. Um, we're gonna want to put crit damage gloves on her, of course. We want her hitting super duper hard. So getting crit in the substats is kind of huge on our other five pieces. Or on the gloves if we get that too. Um, so yeah, that, that will absolutely be her chest. We do have a, some crit damage gloves here. Um, I'll show you why I don't think I want to use those. We'll definitely, you know, it's actually tricky. We're gonna do amazing shield here. Hopefully this rolls crit, crit damage. I'm waiting for the artifact enhancement event. And then pretty, pretty nice uh, weapon here. I think I want to run attack percentage boots on her. So it'd be nice if this rolled speed. It's also good that as the attack percentage, um, you'd love to see him crit damage as the third roll. We'll see, third or fourth roll. I also have these nice speed boots, not great substats. I don't think I want to put them on her though. I mean, she has that unkillable proc from her passive, so I don't need her going that fast. She's mostly going to be an arena specialist. Um, and then I'll show you, I'll actually show you the two pieces I'm thinking of putting on her. We're going to have to go back here to equipped. The first one's from a speed set. Um, where are you hiding? Actually, I was going to say this could be a really nice piece on Bellower here. It's attack percentage, but a speed set, also some crit damage on it. Because I think we could pair it with another speedy piece at least get the 12% bonus on her base speed from that. However, I think I know which boots, boots, which gloves I want to put on her. Let's just see. I mean, we could do these crit damage gloves, but they're only five star, not very good substats. I'll show you though. Where are you hiding? I think it's all the way uh, at the bottom. It's a resilience piece. People that watch a ton, look how much I've been farming. People that watch a ton of my videos might know the piece I'm gonna shout out. We have these six star crit damage gloves. They're hiding on Kale. Um, these gloves were amazing. We got them, of course, from the Forge. Guys, don't sleep on Faction Wars. Don't sleep on the Forge. Resilience gear, Perception gear, unbelievable. Uh, but look at this. Good piece in general, because it's a six-star piece on an early days account. 80% crit damage. You'll love to see it. But then it's fourth and final roll. We got crit rate. So I think these almost certainly are going to go on uh, Skull Crown. So we're probably going to rock her in a four-piece Avenging. And then probably those attack percentage boots. Maybe I'll find some other attack percentage boots. And then definitely these gloves. So she's gonna smack. I just have to wait for an artifact enhancement event to come to actually level up that gear and get her going. So she's kind of on the bench until that happens. So guys, let's wrap up how we always do. Let's do a touch of arena. Um, I am gonna relocate my face. I think it's for arena. I think it's better in the left corner. Okay, cool. So arena, same old, same old. I mean, we almost dropped to bronze. I'll be honest. I think we were down to like 1310 or something. Um, so we're back and forth, back and forth. Not so much to say about it. I mean, we don't have the speed for it. Um, we have to avoid Seeker like the Plague. Um, without outspeeding him, uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna provoke Kale like he does it every time. Somehow, my Seeker, I'll show you the percent chances on this. I have a Seeker on my main. I use him everywhere. I adore this champion. But if we look, you hear, sorry, it's the A1. Attacks one enemy two times. Has a 25% chance of placing Revoke. So if you book it out, that goes up to 50%. Uh, it's a double hitter, so what does that come up? I'm not gonna do the math, but something like, I think it's about a 75% chance, maybe actually exactly a 75% chance now that I think about it, if it's fully booked out that it will land it, because each hit itself independently is 50%. This doesn't add up. It's multiplicative, not additive. Um, but he lands it every time. Like, I've never seen him not land it on Kale, so there's no way we can fight a team like that. So I am hunting, hunting high and low. Great album by AHA. I don't know why I know that trivia. That's the song that Take On Me's from. Okay, this is enough stupid trivia for the day. Um, here's a team we might stand a chance again. This is a team we're gonna just destroy um, once we got a little bit more speed going. I think the move is gonna be, of course, Kale's coming out. I think the move, there are two options here. So Skullcrown actually is gonna be the lead for anyone who didn't catch it yesterday. Where is she hiding? Where are you, buddy? 
I'm sure I just she, I just passed her, right? Yeah, there she is. Um, huge, huge arena speed lead here, 23%. That's a 4% upgrade off the all battles leads we've been using on Yoshi or maybe High Katoon. Um, yeah, she's gonna be in the lead spot. Kale's out of the team. You're not on the arena team anymore. The second skill comes right here. Sachi, she's here to stay. Got her level 60. She smacks. She's got this amazing A3. Increased attack. Bit redundant with Yoshi, but whatever. Um, and then fills the tournament by 20%. Such a cool move. Uh, so then the question's gonna be, so it, it will look like this. The question's gonna be, do we keep uh, War Maiden in there? Will we be going fast enough with the bonus? And then if I get some more speed after I farm up more gear for Sachi, or maybe are we gonna have to do something like this? Here she is and just get high tuned as fast as possible once you get your dragon. I'm sure we can get over 230 speed. That kind of, that would rise us to the top of silver, I think. Um, it depends how hard we get a uh, Skull Crown smacking. I think it's gonna be pretty hard. But for now, that's not where we're running. I'm just giving you a little sneak peek of the future. But this is the kind of team that we actually lose to probably about 50% of the time. This is a toss up. Depends if Gore grabs faster than high tune. It depends, you know, if, if we got lucky with the true fears. It, it's a toss up. But this is what I have to do, and this is why uh, I was so surprised that we're doing so well in the Classic Arena Tournament, because there we go, Gorgrab didn't get off, pretty cool, so now I, I think they probably needed the double speed boost for, uh, well Warmaiden didn't actually got feared out too, I'm guessing, because she didn't go. Um, this is going to be a win. I actually probably should have targeted Gorgrab, but he's only level 50, so it doesn't matter too much. Yes, yeah, this, this is a win. So this is, look at Kale's smack, let's throw on 1x, I like to see how big these hits are for, so look at that, 52,000, 50, almost 51,000 on the gore grab, imagine what that's going to be on Skull Crown. like we're going to be looking at really big numbers, and it's only going to get better as the gear gets better. So she's going to smack, She's and that's, Kale's in speed boots, so we're, we're going to be seeing like 70k, it's going to be awesome, get excited, I'm excited. Uh, what are we looking at here, this maybe, very confident running a Neathwee Blood Tune, video coming out tomorrow, uh, Either tomorrow or Monday. Well, I guess this is coming out Sunday. So either tonight or Monday. Probably Monday, actually. is going to be a compilation of all the great 2x Void pulls we did. We did pull Jair Bear, one of our top viewers, uh, top viewers on Twitch, too. And we pulled him in an Eathly Blood Twin. We pulled, actually, a, a fair amount of gold. Pretty cool. But they're just running this all battles attack percentage aura. So they're, they're feeling pretty confident. They think they're much better than us. I'd love to prove them wrong. Maybe they got a really fast score grab, which actually would help us. Sorry, we're still on 1x here. Um, they don't. I was going to say, because then maybe we get the AoE, per, the 100% AoE per row. That's 85%, but it hits a lot. Uh, let's target their, uh, hmm, let's target a Neathwee, I guess. He's probably the scariest. He seems like the one nuke or drinks, kind of random. I think he has a, either a double or triple random hitter. Yeah, so we, we just wipe him. Okay, Jingle Hunter, making me look like a fool out here. I'm like, yeah, we're going to smack him on the ground, and then Jingle Hunter. Cool, and you're in Swift Parry. You're, you're so cool, Jingle Hunter. Got Swift Parry, man. I've, fun fact, I've never crafted a, whatever, Swift Parry and the other gear that requires a Core Hammer. I don't know. I feel like uh, I'm going to, not on my main account either. I think I just want way, way more materials so I can do a bunch at once. I feel like you need to do many, many tries to hope your luck finally starts to turn. All right, we'll finish on this one. I think this, again, is a toss-up. They've got the big aura over here from a Fushan. Fushan's a crazy underrated champion. It's kind of a bummer to see. Am I wrong? No, he's got a single hair on day one, so never mind. Ignore it. Nothing a bummer to see. Bummer to see when you have to face against him, because he's really good. I'm guessing they've got a fast Apothecary. They seem confident here, but maybe we'll win. I'm not scared of a Colt Brawler in the arena for two seconds. He literally has no place there. Okay, so they're slow. Let's hope we get some true fears out there. Triple. Sweet. I feel like we've been low on them. We deserve that. Let's go for Tayrell. He's the scariest, probably. Yeah, this is, I think this is done before it started. Yeah, this is over. We knew we'd weak hit on Fushan. I feel like weak hit, I think it's 35% chance of weak hit. It's definitely more than that. Kale constantly weak hits when we have these uh, annoying force champions. All right, this is a great place to end. Guys, I mean, pretty easy video today. Basically, we're just tearing it up left and right in these two tournaments. Very excited. I'm, of course, I'll wait to open all that great Relentless gear once we win it uh, on a video. It'd be pretty cool. And yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. Do you like the new time I'm releasing it? According to YouTube and their analytics team, you should. But are they, are they right? Is this just like uh, some, they're spitting out data that's actually, yeah, uncouth? Is it not true? Is it inappropriate data? We gotta pick up the net. Whenever you see a net in the market, do it for me. It's not gonna cost more than 10,000 silver, just buy them. <laughs> that's how we're gonna finish. Guys, I've been fastidious. If you like my content, if you enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying any videos, if you're just feeling happy today and you want something nice, have it you like, subscribe, you know, it means a lot. The channel's growing a lot every day. My impressions count, which is how often my videos are getting recommended to other viewers, like raid viewers that don't know me. It's going up and up and up. That's all thanks to you guys for supporting me. I appreciate it so much. You know, it's free to play, it's free to click. I will see you in the next one. Maybe even later today. There's probably another video coming out tonight. So I'll, I'll see you soon.
fast idios.